Salud! How would you describe your relationship with Loredana? It's like if the universe talked to us and made us meet, that, it's, that, that goes beyond just the X Factor and the competition. What do you like the most in Romania? Oh my God, Loredana's mom cooked me sarmale. I could eat like, I don't know, 50 of them. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> If you weren't a singer, what other job would you have? Football player or something like that. Very tough, strong, with a, with a strong body, health. What unknown talent do you have? Salud! Welcome and thank you for accepting my invitation. Oh, thank you for inviting me here. Tell us something about you that it's not known by anyone. Oh, well, mm, I don't know. Maybe that I like pets. That could be. I really love dogs, cats, all kind of animals. And I have kind of passion for all the animal kinds. And that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> What's the memory that makes you emotional every time you think about it? Well, I have um, actually many moments in my mind, but um, if you're asking me that about X Factor, I'm thinking about the semi-final and of course the final. I mean, uh, the last song I sang, Who Wants to Live Forever? Oh my God, he's been so tough. Uh, actually, one thing that nobody knows, uh, the day of the, my final, uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning, I've been to the doctor. Why so? I got low voice. Oh my and God. I got like an inflammation because uh, of a bad cold. And my cords were very inflammated. So I got a very tough inflammation. And I've been singing my final with an inflammation, but it's, am it's still, it's amazing, you know, what's happened. So that's the part I, I had to fight to reach the final. And in the end, I won the final. And that's, that's crazy, you know, that's bring me kind of happiness every time that I think about it. Like it's been a tough time, but then it came the craziest time of my life. What's the most valuable lesson you've learned from your parents? Um, I have to say, uh, my family is a very strong family and my dad and my mom transmitted me um, kind of values, you know what I mean? So respect people, always be fair, uh, even, uh, even if you are you know, in a competition, you have to be fair with all the competitors and my parents, they are so so generous. So one thing that I learned from them is to be generous and try to be always happy. It's not easy. It's not easy, but they are like that. And they remind me of a fairy tale because they look like 15 years old. They are 55, but they look like 15, like teenagers. And they are loving each other so much. And so they teach me to believe, to have faith in, a, in good things, in love, in the good energy. So that's what I've learned from my, from my family, from my parents. How would you describe your relationship with Loredana? It's, um, it's a very nice relationship. It's like a, a real friendship and we respect each other so much. It's like if the universe talked to us and made us meet, you know? And she's so generous. And she has mare inima. Mare, mare inima. And she's a mare star. And I'm so grateful that I met her. And I'm so grateful about that relationship because it's real. It's something that, it's, that, that goes beyond just the X factor and the competition. Because we're still in touch, you know, we're still working together. She's still giving me 
advises and she's helping me so much, Loredana and, and Loredana's family. So I'm so grateful. I'm very glad and grateful for that kind of uh, special friendship with Loredana. If you weren't a singer, what other job would you have? Oh, my biggest dream always been to be like a professional, I don't know, athlete or football player or something like that. So um, my dad has been a hockey player, a professional hockey player. So I always want to be like him, you know, uh, very tall, strong, with a, with a strong body, health, uh, healthy. And yeah, that's my, maybe the first, the first dream I had, it's to be an athlete. What do you like the most in Romania? Well, it's hard to, to give you an answer because I really love uh, many things from, from the people uh, to the food. Uh, and actually it reminds me sometimes the place where I live in Italy, um, like food, for example. I really like the food. You eat a lot of meat, a lot of vegetables, soups, chorba, and I really like it, but I really love how you party in Romania too, actually. You, you really know how to party. You dance, you feel the music, you have that kind of manele here, and um, I really love here. I really like, love Romanian style, you know, and, and Bucharest style. It's, it's cool, it's kind of a big city, like you can say Milano or Rome, it's kind of similar. What's the biggest difference between Italians and Romanians? I always say that Italy and, and Romania, uh, we are twin land, but I'm, I'm really sincere when I, when I say that. But you have that kind of respect of the things, of the people, when you talk, you're... A lot of people are very polite, more polite than other countries, I don't know. And I think it's because of your roots, of your past. So that, I think that's the... That makes the difference between Italy and Romania, but I think between Romania and all the countries in the world. You said you like our food. Yes. What food do you like the most? Ooh, I tried, of course, any kind of chorba. And I really love, um, oh my God, what's the name? Sarmale. Oh my God, Loredana's mom cooked me sarmale. I never taste something like that. Really, I, I'm in love with that sarmale. I could eat like, I don't know, 50 of them. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And then, yeah, maybe Sarman is my, my favorite yet.